Hello, this is the first time in a while that I've done one of these podcasty things. Not long, quite simple, to the point. I downloaded eFootball, otherwise known as PES 2022, recently because I can't afford the new FIFA just yet. So I thought I'll do a little review over the few games I've played to basically give you an overview of of whether I think it's worth downloading, worth playing, worth giving the time of day. Now, in the background, you may have seen a few decent goals going in. However, that does not paint the picture of this game. Like, straight up, there is a reason why FIFA is way more popular than eFootball slash Pez. Like, it is just streets above Pez in so many different areas. Like, the gameplay on Pez is just painfully not as smooth it's been quite laggy it's been it's been a bit delayed it's been a bit stuttery players moving on the ball agility wise is just a bit robotic like this goal here i think i pressed shoot three seconds before he actually shot and uh you know things like this with the ronaldo celebration and some of the players do actually look like the players and the Old Trafford Stadium you saw a minute ago, like, those aspects, you know, they're all right. Penalties, you know, a lot of the players do their run-ups, like Pogba's stutter one, um, and Rashford's one where he kind of does an arc around the ball and then smashes it. There's, you know, there's aspects like that they've added in. Um, but outside of that, just the gameplay is lacking. And, you know, the online games I've played, the... The connection quality for online play is just poor. I've the I don't I haven't really played a game where there hasn't been an element of lag or delay lag um, at some point in the game. So yeah, all in all, a bit disappointed. Um, I was hoping to play this until I can get FIFA for Christmas, but I'm going to struggle, I think, to see that out. There's only like one or two game modes out at the moment, anyway. I don't know if you're going to have to pay extra to get the PES version of Ultimate Team. Um, that's about the only thing I'm holding out for at the moment. Otherwise, it's going to be a case of limping to Christmas for the new FIFA or sucking up and buying it sooner if I can't wait until then. But yeah, try downloading it if you haven't. You know, it's worth giving a go. You might get a bit of enjoyment out of it. It's better than no football game whatsoever, but it is far from as good as FIFA. So yeah, that's my overview of this game.